One, two. Pop. That was awful. Yeah, it was all on up either way. It's all actually right. pretty easy. <laughs> oh, you know, we need to clap. It's an automatic. My life is a lie. <laughs> Welcome back to A Little Book Club. I'm John. And I am Matt. And so we're going to be talking uh, at least just briefly about the next level of MCU yep. that was announced at Comic-Con. Right. Phase four. Phase as four. They call it. And, and this might not be the entire slate. We're kind of a little bit uh, not sure about that, but this was the slate that they at least announced at Comic-Con. D23 is right. coming up in like a month. So Most we'll of it's see. me asking questions and him who has been paying attention <laughs> telling me what's what. Yes. So one uh, person does their homework and one person copies it. Got well, it. I <laughs> was never a good student. <laughs> so okay. anyway. Go ahead. So uh, yeah, the, the first one being announced is, or we already knew it was coming out, but the first one coming out is going to be the Black Widow movie. And I'm going to understand this is Scarlett Johansson less. No, it's a prequel. Right, right. It doesn't have her in it though, right? Yeah. It does have her in it. Yeah, I keep yeah. hearing, like, people keep telling me that she's not going to be in it. It's going to be, like, a younger version of the character. No, it's her. Oh, that, that's, okay. <laughs> that's better. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, what are you, crazy? It, like, you know, have Scarlett Johansson in it. No, it's her, and then, uh, why am I blanking on his name right now? Uh, that guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, the guy from Stranger Things. Oh, absolutely, that guy. Yeah, yeah. David sure. Harbour? Yeah, he's in it. Yeah. He plays uh, Alexis, a Russian guy. Alexis. And which is funny. from Because Alexei was, yes. was in Stranger Or it might be Alexei. I'm not sure. It was very close. I mean, Alexis is yeah, 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 what yeah. you you know get spied on by right. Amazon. <laughs> it's, it's true. Okay, so that, that's a meta thing. Okay. But yeah, yeah. No, uh, it's a prequel with her in it. She's the star. I mean, they might feature like a younger version oh, yeah, of her yeah. too. Fair but, enough. Yeah, fair yeah, enough. yeah. But she's the she's the main person. Well, and so, yeah. That's too little, too late. No, I'm kidding. That, it's, been, it's about time. I think yeah, like they, for they sure. kind of teased her having her own movie. Yeah. And they should have done it a long time ago. Like, yeah, to I, me, this should have already happened. Yeah. It, it'll be interesting because it could be like a Winter Soldier. I thought Winter Soldier was kind of a, uh, um, I guess, a spy thriller already a little bit with Captain America Winter Soldier. Sure. Uh, somewhat. Uh, it, it'll be interesting to me. Not so, so much on the superhero part. Right. More on the. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I look, yeah. they, they have rarely ever let me down with the, all these 20 something odd movies plenty of source material right right so uh, I'm, I'm interested to see where it is at and then the next thing that's going to be um i know he, he's more interested in the movies we'll touch briefly on the shows as well uh the next thing coming out it's going to be on the disney plus uh Boo. thing I mean, yeah all right <laughs> it's going to be falcon and the winter soldier which only you know it sounds like the worst buddy cop movie yeah that's true but uh disney plus is only uh six join us next week with falcon and the winter soldier what will happen true. yeah so uh zemo is going to be the yeah. main character i think he's supposed to be donning the purple yeah. mask i remember from people the used comics. to drink that back in the 90s zemo's no that's no, uh, zemo, zemo. Oh, okay. okay anyway so we'll yeah. skip right along so to something you will probably actually see which is the eternals oh uh, yeah i'm kind of interested in that so i'm not yeah i don't know all the details but i've been hearing you know some of the characters that could be involved right uh, i know interesting. a couple so the the plot synopsis is that these creatures have been on earth which is kind of based upon the comics but a lot of people thought it might be more like a, a cosmic movie but it's actually mm. going to be based on earth okay. these these creatures have been here i think it's like forty five thousand years but they're like godlike creatures sure and um i know for a fact that it has uh camille uh camille Jalhani, or he was just an Uber Stuber. Uh, oh, big I, sick. See, I see. Camille, I can't say his right last name. For it's okay. Him. You're, you're racist, a terrible person, apparently. Uh, so, so uh, <laughs> but no, he. I thought I think he was awesome in the big uh, sick. I actually like Stuber as well. I know a lot of I people. Seen that one yet. A lot of people were down on it, but I liked it. Uh, and then it also has Sama Hayek. I know she's in it. Oh, nice. Yeah. So uh, that's all I think I know about that one. Uh, the next one that's going down here is. It's going to be uh, Shang-Chi. Yeah. Okay. Is no, that a movie I, or a TV show? Uh, no, this is a movie. There's a movie. Okay. Yes, Shang-Chi. I'm not 100% familiar with Shang-Chi. Uh, obviously, it's uh, it's going to be... I think it's similar to like an Iron Fist type character or no? I, I'm not familiar I, I, with this character either. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I'm not that deep into the comics. I saw, the I saw the uh, one of the actor I think that's starring in it. He's like a big like kung fu type dude, uh, apparently. 
So okay. it's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, they they are bringing they they said something about the uh, seven rings or the nine rings or whatever uh, the ma- real Mandarin will be in this. Oh, so they kind of seeded that in the it's past. About time. Yeah, yeah. So they seeded in the been past, and there. so he's uh, he's supposedly being brought into this one. Uh, the next thing, when I'm gonna need to talk about this because it goes into the other one, it is a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it's on. called WandaVision. Right. Okay. It's it supposed to be like, really weird. It sounds really weird because it sounds like some kind of weird dash system. Right. Open up WandaVision. Well, I think it is going to be kind of playing on some kind of uh, somebody maybe going mad or something. I don't know. And because mm. it leads into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So they're going to be connected. Yes. So it's leading right into it. And All then right. Scarlet Johansson, or Scarlet Johansson, Scarlet Witch is going to be in Doctor Strange. Okay. So, I mean, it yeah. makes sense in the story wise. You know, please don't start making your TV shows and your movies interdependent. Oh, they are. I mean, That's they haven't I, done that, it to this point. They, they are. I mean, they didn't do it with Netflix. They didn't do it they with ABC. Now. They're going to do it now. Yes. They're jerks. <laughs> I'm not buying Disney Plus. I don't care what you do. All right. Bought my words. We'll give them a year. <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not gonna buy it. Okay. I'm not going to well, do it. Well, I'm going to talk to you about all these great movies coming out. But yeah, so we, we don't know 100% of the plot on that. I, I do remember, I think it was uh, some, I uh, saw something that from the director uh, of uh, Doctor Strange saying that he would love to. They oh they did say both of them are like horror centric. Doctor Strange is definitely a horror movie. It's okay, the first horror movie in the MCU. I you mean, it's still going to be like in the PG PG thirteen range. I imagine. Yeah, I'm no. sure. But so at the same more time, more scary, right? Suspense. Scary elements, okay. and uh, I think and they and they somebody said uh, which it's not been confirmed, but Nightmare. There's like a thing from 2016 with the director saying they wanted to bring in Nightmare. So mm-hmm. maybe he's like ruling a, a universe and maybe that's going to be horror. Or it could be something along the lines of uh, Scarlet Witch going full Scarlet Witch and being crazy and he's having a stoppers type thing. So anyways, interesting. Uh, the next thing is kind of a um, Elseworlds. Well, it's not Elseworlds, it's not a what if, but it's the, the Loki series. Oh, uh, right. They did say that... Uh, it is was, this based on the alternative reality right. where he escapes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. And, uh, Yay for loopholes. Right. Exactly. So, the one thing that I... Because I, I talked about that with uh, the Spider-Man thing, that I was glad they did not go into the multiverse thing. But Kevin Feige, I uh, think, said, oh, no, he wasn't lying that there is a multiverse. And I'm really disappointed in that. Cause I just well, I mean, like it... there is that in... It depends on how deep they're going to go with it. Right, right. right. I mean, if they go too deep, they're going to lose... If they go too deep... They're going to lose a thread there. I feel I like if they, they start bringing other versions too much, besides Loki here, if they bring so many other versions of characters in it, then it's really going to cheapen the stakes even more. Especially if it's going to be like... I know you think it cheapens the stakes with the time travel element of infinity or in game but if they can always just go back and like oh i'm just gonna pull him from a different universe then it's just gonna suck to me yeah, a little bit I, I yeah yeah it. but either way um, it, so it so mo- get... moving right along uh now this is uh the animated show on disney um disney plus and it's called what? the what if oh that's like an animated type show and it really doesn't pertain to the mcu but what they did it what pertains to mcu but not like in the overarching story uh, but they said what it's going to focus on is like the previous movies and almost like okay it's going to be like the plot of the let's just say captain america or whatever and they're going to say okay what if one thing changed and so this how this is this is a multiverse thing, somewhat. I mean, it's an animated thing. It's not going to play right, into, right. But it lets them toy with the multiverse some, scenarios somewhat. But it's more just like because there was a what if comics like oh what if the Hulk and you know Deadpool were together. I mean there was examples like that or what if Spider Man and Deadpool a lot of times. Oh, right, right. So they had a lot of what if comics. So this isn't going to like it could tie, be fun. Yeah, it's not going to tie into the overall story, but they're going to use the stories they've had and be like okay if we change this one element how would the entire movie change. Right. So it sounds pretty cool. Uh, the next thing that they're going into is another um, Disney show. You're gonna love it. It's called Hawkeye. And I wonder uh, who this is about. Um, it you would be wrong. So it's about Hawkeye's daughter being trained. Oh, and okay. To be the next Hawkeye, which she became in the comics. 
and she's going to be getting trained by her dad. So yeah, he's in it too. <laughs> so well, good for it. them, right? Bringing up the daughter and right, and right, introducing more of the female heroes. Yeah. So speaking of female heroes, uh, this is probably going to be the biggest one, uh, which is uh, directed by Taika Waititi, Thor: Love and Thunder. Okay, and so you may or may not like this because you may not know they're bringing in Lady Thor. Okay, I'm cool with that. Played by... Is it Natalie Portman? Yes. Okay, that, then that's script. Yeah, that's story. Straight up from the that's, story. That, I they said she is Thor, which I thought was kind of weird uh, by oh. him exactly saying that. Now, maybe he actually came out on stage and like knelt down and gave her a uh, mirror mirror or what is it? Near? Don't worry. You, yeah, yeah, you I can can't look it up it. After. Yeah, 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 yeah. The hammer. The hammer. Um... No, I don't know where, no, how, no, do they, how do they how do they replace the hammer? Uh, yeah, we don't know yet. So oh, okay, but that's gonna happen though. Right? Somehow, gonna, I guess they're gonna reforge the hammer or something. Maybe, or maybe it's gonna be like uh, the uh, one. Screw the timelines. We'll just go pull it from another timeline. Maybe keep Captain it. America never gave it back. <laughs> he Ooh, just kept it. What if Earth? he gives it to her instead of the yeah yeah the Infinity Stone? Yeah, she beca- uh, no, no, that's no. gonna be like really weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know how that's going to work out. But I don't understand that, that time travel. Just it is. I think that it's going to be based later on. Uh, I do think it's going to be based later on within the same. But I guess it could be somewhat of a. Pre- Either way, it, it'll be good because it's Natalie Portman and it's Taika Waititi and it's Lady Thor. Right. I mean, that's uh, yeah, an yeah. awesome storyline. I thought it was like cool. a really cool no, thing. Lady Thor. Uh, and and uh, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see. Uh, how they play it, where they'll be like, oh, she just got the hammer, and so she's endowed with his strength. Uh, or if it's going to be like somewhere. Right. I don't know. Have you not read the, like, the story? No, I mean, I've heard of the story, but I've not like read the story. No. Okay. It's pretty good. Okay. I, I, I recommend checking it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you've Even, actually read the comic then of it? I, I've read enough of it. Gotcha. I didn't, I didn't get through the whole run. But. Right. I've I've heard other people talk about the general synopsis. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's a solid story, and I, yeah. I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be, that's uh, coming out. I'll probably out. be, that, I'll watch that one. That right. One, that's, that'll be it. Right. That's on Disney Plus. And I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. I will punch somebody. <laughs> They keep putting this crap on Disney Plus. <laughs> Just kidding. It's coming out in theaters, uh, but then uh, no VOD. It's going to be probably going straight to Disney Plus. <laughs> that be it's true that life is over. <laughs> they are they going are, straight. They're monopolizing. Like, they they. I'm sure they're going to have something that you could buy. Phys- probably not physical not. media, but digital probably media. Not. Um, but probably yes, not. probably not. Probably not. Disney's going to. Lock everything in their little vault and say, "Give me eight dollars a month for the rest of your life." Take my money. No, cancel my you're gonna take his money. I'm just gonna <laughs> cancel my sixteen dollar Netflix. You know, now. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna read the comics, but they own Marvel, so all the money is still gonna go to them. <laughs> Welcome to the world, uh, owned by Disney. <sighs> <laughs> so, anyways, uh, what are your thoughts about the slate coming up? Are you excited? Are you going to get Disney Plus to really stay uh, in the zeitgeist with the Marvel Universe? Are you going to be right. missing out on half of are it? You, like, are you going to uh, be thinking John? like me and considering jumping ship while at the height of the MCU glory? Right, right. Are you just going to check out and you're going to go to the, what, DC? <laughs> Hey man, the Joker looks solid. <laughs> the Joker looks great. I love Walking Shazam. Phoenix. Joker love Shazam. Looks good. I actually yeah, really Shazam enjoy Aquaman. Good. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Oh, and Wonder Woman eighty five is coming out. Yeah, eighty four. Uh, Same difference. Eighty four. Anyways, you're you're, you're, you're eighty four. Okay, we're out of here. Comment below. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, do the things. Bye. <laughs>